Hey guys, it's Jonathan Hang from Game Traders Live, and in my hand, I've got a whole box of the new Battle Pack Epic Dawn to open and show you guys what's inside. Because, you know, you guys like watching box openings. And I like opening the boosters for you, so, you know, works out for both of us. Let's get this started, shall we? Aw, oh, man. I... Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty noob at opening boxes. I just rip it open here, ruin the box a little bit. Got Kaius on the front, Gaga, Dark Magician, old school reprint. So, opening the box. All right. So, open there. Perfect. Perfect shininess. Now, let's get started. So, every single pack comes with five cards. So, they're a bit cheaper than normal boosters, but comes in some pretty awesome cards. So, you get common. So, let's have a look. So, huh. It's a bit weird. Okay, so we've got a black, black riding, black back dragon. I think that's a rare. Not completely sure if that's supposed to be a normal, but yeah, it's intermental meta, DD salient level war, and a star four rare snatch seal. So basically, all the 2220, was it no, 220 cards in this set all come in star four rare, but they also come in either their common rarity or their, yeah, or their black rare. So we've got Granosaurus, Inverse Universe, Yukakalator, Decoichi, and a Grave Swimmer. Okay, um, I don't think this one comes with a rare, so I'm going to just say that the Blowback Dragon actually is a rare. That's because it actually has an imprinted black writing on the top of the, of the name. Oh, here we go. So we got Metal Reflex Slime as the rare, Fiend Sanctuary, Lost of Dragon, Blasphy, and a Sura Priest as a Star Foil. So the Star Foils kind of look a little bit like uh, Dual Terminal cards from America, which aren't available in Australia yet. But, you know, I think it's more that everyone's <coughs> anticipating cards from um, this set to be pretty cool. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I actually am a little bit sick. But Cyber Valley is our Star Foil. Greno Bait Doll. I love this card. I wish I could run three of them. I wish I could. They're the best card ever. Um, yeah, so reprinted cards like Tour Guide, Finish Chain, all the, uh, Pot of Duality, all the money cards are now all reprinted as Star 4 Rare, so a little bit easier for people to get them, use them. There we go, Snatch Steel Rare. So I think majority of the cards don't actually come in the black rarity, the black indented rarity. King Taigawangu and Jinzo Star Foil. <coughs> and I think this pack is really just made for drafts, like you could open up a whole lot, make a deck, and, you know, it would be a usable deck, you know, and not too bad. So, Scapegoat, that's a rarity there. Fiend Sanctuary, Backup Warrior, Hyper Hammerhead, and Power Frame. Now, I haven't seen this one before. It looks kind of cool. Backup Warrior. <laughs> Must be special something from your hand while the only monsters you uh, control are two defenses. Well, okay, never mind then. <clears throat> there we go. So, Leviathan comes in a common now. Battle Pack, Power Giant, Noise Again, and Vortex Trooper. So, uh, we're pretty much hoping for a Tour Guide here. I mean, apparently the Tour Guide rarity is more... About the same of getting a normal Tour Guide, Secret Tour Guide out of boxes. But, you know, you get 36 packs out of this box. So, Gatchy Gatchy comes in. There we go. Phoenix Chain becomes common. So, you know, we'll keep that aside for, for later. And a Gillosaurus. So, Phoenix Chain, um, when the hype was up, that effects of effect monsters became, you know... A bit more troublesome, Phoenix Chain went up like crazy, now it's just, now it's a common. Thank God, Konami. Dark Bribe is a rare, with black writing. Different Dimension, Yasha, Shield War, and Blaster Chain. Now, Blaster Chain is basically my trump card with Insectors, because it's just like, play Mystical Space Typhoon or Heavy Storm, Chain Blast with Chain, equip to one of your Insectors, and basically get to blow one of their cards up, as well as uh, destroy, um, Get a search for whatever you get for instead of So level it is our star foil and gem knight pearl. So I think this is a set exclusive card for this set. So gem knight pearl on the side there. Kunai with chain is another good card for insectors who equip, but it's more situational than blast with chain. It's you have to attack just to activate its effects. Well, one of its effects. White knight dragon comes into a rare horn of the unicorn and anti. Now anti is a good gambling card just for lols. Um, I don't know if you guys actually see this clearly, but yeah. Oh, Dark Magician of Chaos. I don't understand why these are a little bit banned. So, Dark Magician of Chaos. A bit banned. A compulsory is a good card aside. A Mysterious Guard. 
Hmm. I don't know. I can't wish. I actually hope that the uh, Gold Series 5 or whatever the uh, Gold Rare, Ghost Rare new rarity comes in is, looks pretty cool. Heavy Storm, it's a new rare. Pride 4, Level Eater, and Power Giant. So, yeah, there's no real chance of actually getting, you know, a tool guide or something like that. But, you know, Phoenix Chain is uh, common, so, you know, it might be a bit easy to get. Oh, there's a second Heavy Storm. I don't understand what these cards Heavy Storm, Axe of Despair, Voltic Kong, Natra, and DD Assailant. Now, DD, I remember back in the day when DD Assailant was. A really hard card to get. It was only super, and it was really expensive. I think the kind of the way the Konami thinks is, you know, releases cards to make it easier for you guys to play, get more people involved. So where's the first card? Why? Wind up Zen Master. Fighting Spirit is a good equip card, and another bribe. Bribes are good. <coughs> That's more blingy to bling. A little shiny. Star four rares. It's just full of stars. Hoping for a tour guide. Superconductors Hirano is a rare, black rare. We call them, we'll call them black rares. Twin Sword Marauder. It's our thing. Yeah, I think you guys are just really just liking like me just opening these packs here. I don't know if you guys can see. So Dark Dust Spirit is a rare. Mystical Space Typhoon's a you know staple card. And well, there we go. Old school Beat Stick Goblin Attack Force. <laughs> Twenty three hundred attack, but goes in defense mode after it attacks. But still pretty good. Summon attack into um, what do you call that? E Lagia, or the other one is a Lagia. Leviathan, Master of Despair, and Witch of the Black Forest. Now they did add in a few of the band cards, but I think it's more collectors, collector-wise that you would actually get it. Just you know, just because it looks pretty and all the cards: Skull Archfiend of Lightning, Shield Crush, Skilled White, and Black Queen Zephyroth. <coughs> Zephyrus, the Elite. Good card for uh. Either XYZs or Tuna or bouncing stuff back to your hand if you want to, you know, reuse again. <clears throat> Good to have drafts for these cards. Oh, what the hell. So there we go. Got a common and we got the Star 4 rare as well. And Ancient Gear Golem as the rare. Yeah, that's rare. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Man, I wish I had a drink here. Grenosaurus, Changing Destiny, Battle Fed, and Cyberjar. Oh, Cyberjar was a good card. Good card. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> I am not well. But I am totally going to cough all over your card. Ah, Snowman Eater. That's a sought after card as well. Put that on the side. Utopia comes in a common. And Machina Fortress. Star 4 rare. So yeah. This pack is basically everything that's good becomes a common. And, you know, most of the people that can't afford, like, you know, all the best cards like Tool Guard and Phoenix Chain are all rejoicing right now. Call of the Haunted, Black Rare, Damage Gate, Card Guard, Cloudian, and Gar 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 Magician. So it's really surprising all, like, actually, I don't know if there's, like, a set rarity on, like, what the chances of pulling all the good cards are, or, you know, the commons are really just hard to get. Which of the Black Forest is a mm, rare, so that's a rare. So some of them come in rare, some of them come in common. And I pass off. Enemy controller. So 36 packs, 5 cards per pack. It's kind of, you know, let down, but it's really the chance of getting good cards. Grace of Charity, another banned card, but you know, if you're playing in a draft, it would be a good pull. Morphing Jar in a common, and a Fisher, stuff all rare. Ah, uh, opening packs. It's like the best feeling, isn't it? Buying a whole box and just opening them like no tomorrow. Ancient Gear Golem as a rare Monster Gate, Sovereign Egg, and Snowman Eater in Star 4 rare. Can't wait for the draft. Start holding drafts at um, Game Traders. So you get like 9 packs, 30 bucks, gets you basically, you know, enough for a deck. And, you know, plays it is. Gem Knight Pearls, that's like the second one I've seen. Goblin Elite Force, Phantom, and Ruler Hardez. Yeah, this pack is going to be good for people who want the best cards to help them support their decks and make it to the top. Gachi Gachi Forbidden Chalice. Miller Des Mes Mosquito. Oh, I'm going to look at that later. So we're going to have a, oh, there we go, and Level Warrior as a Star 4 race. So Gachi over there. Des Mosquito. I think this is a new one for the battle pack. When this is card is normal summon or special summon, place two counters on it. It gains 500 attack for each of these counters. If this card would be destroyed by battle, remove the, oh. That's pretty cool. Normal summon, all special summon, place two counters on it. So basically, it's like a spirit reaper with the chances of living twice. And it's an insect, level three. I don't know, maybe you want to splash that into insectors and stall. 
Soul Exchange as the rare, Exiled Force back into the game, and Zolgar. So no sight of Tool Guide yet. We've seen Phoenix Chain. Chalice becomes a common. Good against uh, dinos and dinosaur decks. Ra uh, Raya Soul Monarch as a black rare. Magic Cylinder, Wind Up Dog, and Soul and Judgment in in uh, Star Four rare. So I'm not 100% like sure how like how the pricing would go with these because you know the rarity pool is very different. Pot of Duality as a black rare, so I guess that would change. And Battle Fader as the star foil. So yeah, Pot of Duality as well. Uh, first came out as a secret, $120 card. Now give it a couple of months or so, and it becomes a black rare or a star foil rare. Tyrus comes in a common, makes me sad. Cyber Valley and Utopia as a Star 4 rare. And now we're bound down to our last three. So, no side of Tour Guide left. Yet. Where do we go? Mobius. Green Kappa, Beast King, and Heavy Storm as a Star 4 rare. We're really hoping for a Tour Guide here. Tour Guide would be pretty sweet because, you know, it would be a sort of, the most sought after card, um, you know, in this set. But. Can't always be lucky. Utopia, Buster Blader, and another Chalice, but in Star 4 Rare. D -d 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 last, uh, second last pack. And I can guarantee you that there will be another box opening somewhere, either on this channel or in another channel. Of my box. You because know, I like opening boxes everywhere. Jinzo. We get Jinzo over here as a Rare. Muka Muka, and Raging Flame Spark. Spirit? Yeah, Sprite. <coughs> That used to be my trump card back in the days when I was a kid. Raging Flame Sprite, attack directly, gaze a thousand, and then just stall. With level limit, area B, or gravity bind. Ugh. And these packs are so hard to open. Okay, last pack. So we got Creature Swap as the rare, Pixie Ring, Sura, and Backup Warrior as a Star Force. So, no tool guard in this, but we did get a few good cards, including the new card, Gem Knight Pearl, that I have not seen for Gem Knights, or just for two level four beat sticks. And yeah, and finishing comes in common, so. That's our box opening for this thing, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. So everything comes in uh, Star 4 Rare. Come into Game Traders, I think we're holding one for at Marion with uh, $30 for the entry fee, and you get nine, nine boosters of these. Make a deck, and we actually have some pretty good prizes up for grabs as well. Check out for the, all the details on our Facebook, and um, I'll see you guys soon with more, you know, box openings, because given the job, I like opening boosters. Opening boosters is the best. That's why you should just save up just for a whole box and open it because it's much better than just opening one booster here and there. The chances of pulling good stuff in a whole box is better to none. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.